Hey everyone, Rob here, and I'm back with exciting news for those that get a little bit nervous around interruption, because according to the news, according to the meteorological office, etc., the eruption is now over. The eruption that started here in Iceland in the Reykjanes Peninsula on August 22nd is now over. The risk assessment map has been updated, and uh, what you're looking at right now are videos that I took literally like a day or two before the eruption had said well that people said the eruption was over and that there was no more uh yeah no more lava coming out so um yeah the the main changes in the risk assessment and if we just swap on over to that uh really quick the main changes of course are that zone three uh, which is the area uh where the you know eruption began uh, this red area if we zoom in here uh, spy the three the main change is that that has now been downgraded to high risk which is red and that's of course because the eruption gas contamination all that stuff is considered lower because the eruption is now over we also uh, have seen that other zones have been reduced so zone six which is beside zone three uh, that has been downgraded to considerable, which is orange, because the risk of gas pollution is now lower. And then, of course, the Blue Lagoon area, which is Zone 1, right over here, that has been downgraded uh, to very low, basically. So that there is basically almost no risk, almost no risk in that area. You know, it's it's basically the lowest that you can almost get. There is a green color, but... Uh, it's, I don't think I've ever seen green used on these maps here. Now, if you are wondering, you know, why does this keep happening in Iceland? Because this has been ongoing since last November. I mean, it's months and months. We've had so many eruptions in this area uh, over the past year, let alone past couple of years. And you can kind of see on this map all of these outlines of where the lava has gone all the way down to Grindavik. And we got all the way up here over to the Blue Lagoon. Uh, and then sort of moving north. So why does this happen? And what's happening behind the scenes, or I guess underground, uh, is this image de de depiction here, which shows a closed system. The eruption has stopped and has closed off the magma's ability to you know, come to the surface. And uh, you can see the magma chamber here, this big yellow circle, and that's four to five kilometers deep below the surface. And it's pushing out because it's being fed magma from below which is this red arrow pointing up it's feeding it from below swelling the earth to the point that it eventually breaks and then of course we get the eruption and that's why we're also seeing deformation in this area because of yeah because of what's going on below the surface four to five kilometers deep um which is relatively shallow speaking in you know terms of eruptions and depths of, of magma chambers and things like that but, uh, but that's why it keeps happening, because even though it closes off at the top, this magma chamber is still being fed from below. And it's not until this stops being fed uh, from the depths of the earth that uh, it's kind of assumed that, that while it's being fed, we're going to constantly be getting these eruptions in this area. Taking a look at some images uh, that were taken from the civil protection, we can see here of course, they took this, uh, you know, September 5th, showing the two craters and that there's no activity anymore in the area. We can zoom in and we can see that it's just, yeah, just empty. But it is still extremely hot. And you can see here uh, from, I think it was a thermal image camera that they used. Huge amount of heat in this area. Uh, and you can see that you definitely still don't want to be walking on the new lava fields because... There was a video going around some guy, his foot kind of broke through a little bit. Luckily, there was no you know, lava there. It was, it was hardened. Um, but don't walk on the lava fields. There are areas that you can go that uh, you get a good view. You can see some new lava, uh, and it's safe. Taking a look at where that would be, we can see here a map uh, showing the active part of the lava bed that was formed during this eruption. Uh, all of this is based on data from the Ice Eye satellite. We can see down here these two red dots. That's where the you know, eruption occurred. And then, of course, we have the varying colors of purple and reds and browns and things like that. And that is the 
lava fields and the lava spreading across the the land if you will uh, we also see roads so we can see up at the top here uh, this road that leads to the airport it's sort of a little bit of a roundabout section here where we can then go down towards the blue lagoon uh, but one thing that I found out kind of quite late in the game, if you will, is there's a parking lot somewhere kind of, if we're going down this road, it's a parking lot somewhere around here in the center of the screen that people are directed to where you can park and you get a good view of the lava field and of the, well, I would say the eruption, but it's over now, but perhaps the next eruption. Uh, so there's a parking lot that security and everyone is directing you to in order to be able to see it and uh, it's really quite a great view so even though it's not erupting if you are looking for a place to go take a look at you know these these giant volcanoes that have formed these cones definitely go to that area because that's where you really you get a sense of scale when you're when you're this close to it do keep in mind however that uh, the area and the parking lot and all of that is technically in this orange area five so just uh yeah just be aware that you are kind of entering in a more dangerous area although again security is kind of letting you go there so that's fine moving on the land rise and as we talked about the the magma chamber is still being fed from below now we here have a graph that has been updated since the beginning uh, of this i guess series last october 25th where we have this purple, you can see the legend has all of the dates and, and different colors for the different events that have happened. The ones that end in a star, those have ended in eruptions. We can see there's quite a few of those. The ones that have a square at the end of them, those are some sort of seismic activity event that, that occurred. So we can see we are on red and then there's this circle here. Uh, and that's the latest status, if you will, uh, of the yeah, eruptions. And uh, you can see that it has dropped down in terms of land rise and everything like that. Now it's heading on its way back up. Looks like it's following this green trail, uh, which was the one that was, uh, you know, May 30th to August 21st. Uh, and now we are, which was the previous one that just occurred. And then, uh, yeah, so now we are, we are building back up for a repeat of what's been going on uh, in the past... Yeah, past year in Iceland, and, and if we go even back before that, Fagersfeld uh, and the Gellingadalur area, this is what uh, what has happened over and over again. So, again, we've looked at how this keeps occurring, and uh, you can see here, again, when the eruption actually occurs, this is what's happening, is the chamber is being fed, there's an opening in the chamber, which then is released in a cone. So we have that, and of course... Uh, a little bit different from from this uh, this one here, which is a closed system, and this is the open system. So that's pretty much it for the the, the news of the day. Uh, it's a quick update on what's going on here in Iceland. Of course, the eruption is now over, and yeah, there's some footage that I took um, when I was there not long before they said it was over. So amazing to me how it can kind of just turn off like a light switch. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to stay tuned because if I had to bet money on it, I would say this will happen again in the near future.